diamond sharpeners from Timu? Are they any good? Well, let's see. Well, I've been using these now for around four weeks to put my repertoire on the Wally Bois. Well, what do I really think of them? Well, I'm going to tell you that I am, yeah. But first, let's have a closer look. Yeah, okay. Not like that, no. Oh, uh, well, like that. Yes, with the microscope. Oh, there it is, a microscope. That's what that is, yeah. Well, we have these two diamond sharpeners that I bought about four weeks ago. And I've been using them quite regularly on my channel, uh, but also as a part of my workflow. Now, I've got other diamond sharpeners you can see over here as well. And I'll use these, uh, well, homemade guides and, you know, for sharpening guides, honing jigs and stuff. I don't buy anything I have, if I can help it, do I? Apart from my diamond sharpeners. Well, we're going to have a closer look. Now, I've been using these for sharpening chisels and pan planes, but also router bits which have tungsten carbide tips on them oh okay. it's all hard it is yeah well fortunately one of them doesn't like tungsten carbide too much should we have a look see which one that is in a minute but first let's look at the other one. Oh, you know which one it is now oh never mind now this particular diamond ship no? is the honeycomb style yes it's an electroplated plate of steel with a weird foam back. As you can see, there's a rubbery bit on the back, as you see. And the idea is it so it doesn't slip about. Yeah, anyway, I'm interested in that side. No, I'm interested in this side. Now, this one by SY Tools. You getting dizzy yet? There you go. By SY Tools. Do, 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 do. There you go. SY Tools. And, oh, well, it's a Chinese generic thing that they've printed their SY tools on properly. Anyway, it's a 3,000 grit. So it's very fine. It's really handy if you want to get that last little micro bevel on your tool. Not that tool, your chisel or something like that. Well, this one. Which has an, an electroplated diamond finish. And if you look in between the areas which I've been actually sharpening, you can see it's quite shiny in between. And I, I've got a funny feeling that those sparkly bits in between the uh, honeycomb uh, sections is diamond as well. But the idea is, is there's relief there, so it hasn't made contact with the actual tool itself. And as such, um, it hasn't worn and changed. Color. That's my, my opinion. Or it might just be electroplating and no diamond on it at all. Can't really tell, to be honest. Now, this one is, is extremely fine at 3,000 grit. And it's shown no real signs of wear yet. Not, not considerable. There's no scratches as such in it. Although I did find a couple of small scratches in it somewhere. Let's see if I can find them. Oh, there you go. There's a little one there. Uh, another one there. But then nothing major do you know what i mean you get that in dmt and that as well to be fair now i will do a comparison with my dmt sharpness at a later date um which to be fair they are pretty old now <laughs> they are still going strong so that you know you do get what you pay for but these are like five or six euros to buy really cheap you know and for most people it does the job it sharpens your tools and it'll sharpen your knives with no trouble at all and last a good long while. And when it's nagged, you just get another one. So that is the two and a half a thousand. Oh, so that's a three and a half thousand. Sorry, the three thousand um, sharpener, diamond sharpener by SY Tools, which was sold via the uh, well that suit platform called Timu, which is yeah the little spinny roulette wheel on on the app and what have you. And I told you to buy other stuff as well. Just because you've landed on the site, they want to try and make you buy all sorts of shit. Typical, eh? Anyway, so it's that one. And then there's that one. And this one is a two and a half a thousand a grit. But also, it's larger. You see, it's, it's longer. And also, it's wider. Which is, you know, the reason why I wanted that is I thought, well, that might be quite handy for my two and a half inch plane irons. Such as my Stanley 
uh, Bailey number seven, and my record number uh, six, four planes, which are two, and, and my rabbit planes as well, which are they're all two and a half inch wide. Um, play nine. So I thought I'd get a wide one. That makes more sense. You see, it's just what we did. Anyway. I've also been using this to sharpen my tungsten carbide. I've also used that one for you tungsten sharpen tungsten carbide router bits as well. I've been using these old ones over here as well. Now these ones, oh okay, they're flattened off now. They're nowhere near as sharp as they used to be. None of them. They all got a bit. You know, they're probably like you know this one here is probably as you can see is dull. It's really dull now because the tops of the diamonds have been flattened off. Yeah, but it still works and it still sharpens. It's just no longer a thousand grit. No, it's probably <laughs> ten thousand grit. No, stick never naught on the end. That's what it should do. <laughs> it's really, really fine now, but it still does its job. So for a microbrabber, you could still use it. You just effectively as it wears, you're just working down the grits. You know, or working up the grits one way or the other. So what about the other one? What about this one here? Let's put that under the microscope and have a look at it. So that one there is now under the microscope. Yes. Oh my God, what's going on there? All right, so there you go. Can you see that big black weird line, Grand Canyon kind of thing going on? Now on the right there, you can see the grits are quite sharp still. They're, you know, they're fine, you know. Doesn't look moving, there you go. They've still got sparkly bits. If you look the sparkly, they're the tops of the diamonds, you see. They've been electroplated onto the plate, and that, as you use it, the electroplating kind of wears away and exposes the diamonds. You know, that one is kind of that's all right, you know, that's all right there. Remember, these are only about four weeks old, but where I actually was sharpening my um tungsten carbides, these were trend, I think they were trend tungsten carbide bits. I was using when I noticed this happened, um, which is a reasonable t t TCD tungsten carbide, um, but. Yeah, it gouged it. It gouged first. It's too soft. This one, which has no maker's name, but still from Timu, it's the larger one, and has a two and a half thousand grit. Um, it's too soft, in my opinion. Remember this one and also the uh, three thousand grit have both been used for sharpening um, tungsten carbide rotor bits, but this one gouged. In more than one place, it's in a bit of a state you can see, and some of the electroplating actually come away on the edges of that gouge. So it ain't very good, is it? And that one on this side here, as you can see. So I wouldn't recommend these ones if you want to use a card type scrape, uh, card type scraper, a card type sh diamond sharpener for your outer bits. I wouldn't use that this particular one, no. But the other ones seem to be the SY Tools ones seem to be okay. It was alright. It, it does the job. And what you've got to remember is these things are cheap. You know? Five, six euros. It's cheap as chips. Now this one, I've had probably six, maybe seven years. The same with these ones over here. And they're, they're all worn now. But they still do the job. They still work. Um, and they're still reasonably flat. This one of these has got a bit of a bow in it, actually. Which is that one. It's now got, yeah, it's got a bit of a bow in it. It's not flat now. Um... Well, I just bear it in mind, you know, and you know, I'm aware of it. It's okay with chisels and stuff like that, but I wouldn't necessarily use it on my plain irons where, where I need to flatten the back. I wouldn't use a pen diamond sharpener if I want to flatten the back of a, um, yeah, that's this, yeah, that's 600, 600, 600 grit, that one. Um, if I want to flatten the back of my plain irons, no. Yeah. I generally use a, a, a lapping plate for that. So, anyway, uh, Point of view, I'm, I'm not going to point of view. Conclusion. <laughs> My conclusion is, yes, I would buy them again, but I would bear in mind that they ain't perfect. But are they worth five, six euros a piece? Of course, I put It's a ridiculous statement. <laughs> they still sharpen. They really do. And they do the job. You know, Not everybody's got money to spend on DMT and super sharpening guns or whatever. Uh, other brands of diamond sharpeners that there are because they can be very very pricey especially when if you want two or three uh different grits and a lapping plate as well it's just a lot of money 
you know, 150, 200, 300 quid you can spend on a sharpening system. Now, if you're just Joe Bloggs or somebody who's just starting out and want to, you know, have a go, you know, you've got a few tools and you want to get them sharpened up and learn how to do a bit of sharpening, learn on something like this first. Don't damage your your waterstones even. If you go, oh, your waterstone sharpening system maybe. Start with something like this first and get the knack. Get the hang of what you're doing so you understand what it means to be sharp for a start and how to get it there before you damage your waterstones. Because waterstones are quite, you can easily cut them, you can easily put a, a hollow in them, you see, or gouge them. So, if, you know, practice, 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 practice with something like this first. They're cheap and they'll still sharpen your tools. And they cost like five, you know, if you get three of them, you know, it's only going to cost you like 15 euros or pounds or dollars or whatever. It's cheap as chips. Yeah, the price does vary a bit, obviously. Anyway, I've got those ones on Timu, but they are available on Amazon and eBay all over the place. They're pretty much, they're pretty much all the same, apart from these slightly larger ones. I would say are a little bit softer. Yeah, but the ones with their weird honeycomb kind of finish, they they feel a little bit more. Um, I think the surface is a bit harder. You know, black plating is a little bit better as it is. So anyway, that's what I think. What do you think? Leave it in the comments down below. Say, oh, I would never buy them, no. I'm rolling in. I've got loads of money. Loads of money. Yeah, I wouldn't buy those things on Timo, oh, no. You know, they, they make their money from your data and stuff like that. For oh, Christ's sake. Yeah, you know, you're telling me this while you're scrolling through your mobile phone. <laughs> while collecting all your data and your location. Yeah. And your cock ring size and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, you know how it is. Ooh. Hey. Yeah. Well. You tell me. Leave it in the comments down below. And if you want to watch how you do on Patreon, I'll buy some coffee. <laughs> Links down below. Also, just boot the old like button, would you? Because it helps, you know. So I've been told. Yeah. It helps the channel. And maybe subscribe. And a little bell icon. Because then you get a warm, fuzzy feeling in your pocket every time I upload another video. Well, it's nearly 2 o'clock in the morning. So I suppose I better go to bed. So I'll say, doodaloo, you know. Doodaloo.